you've come to the right place. If you're looking to create, launch, and scale a high value online training program. I'm your guide, Chris Badgett. I'm the co-founder of Lifter LMS, the most powerful learning management system for WordPress. Stay to the end. I've got something special for you. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome back to another episode of LMS Cast. I'm joined by a special guest. His name is Funk Roberts. He's over at www.over40alpha.com. Uh, Funk is building an online fitness empire for uh, men over 40 looking to go through health transformations. Uh, I recently came across you in our community um, of users in Lifter LMS. I found your story and everything super inspiring. Welcome to the show, Funk. Thanks so much for having me, Chris. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, to share whatever knowledge or whatever I can with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Well, there's a couple things that really jump out at me. One is you're prolific. Like you, you make tons of videos. You got to you got to subscribe to Funk's YouTube channel. It's Funk Roberts Fitness. You have, as of this recording, over seven hundred and ten thousand subscribers. Um, some of your most popular workout videos or, or, or videos are about like 10 minute workouts, doing burpees, <laughs> specific like kinds of workout, but bring, bring us back to the origin story here. Uh, what happened for you to kind of become this guy that's going to lead other men in this fitness transformation, which you've obviously can back up with your own results and your own health and stuff. How did this start? Yeah, so I used to be a professional athlete growing up. So I played professional indoor and beach volleyball, like at the highest level. So if you see, you know, the beach volleyball on, on you know, the Olympics or whatever, I, I used to play that with, I don't know if there's any other players still there, but, um, you know, this was in the 80s and, and early 90s. Um, and so I'm 53 right now. I'm from Toronto. And so fitness has always been in health and, and everything has always been in my life. My parents were amazing role models because you know they worked every day they they my dad had my mom my dad had two jobs they worked they came home they would go out practice their sports and then every single week it seemed like they would be coming home with trophies or medals and it's just they never really said anything to me I just saw the hard work because they're still cooking and cleaning the house and fixing things and then going out and practicing and then playing and then coming back it's just it was just a constant thing that I, I saw and and wanted to emulate so I, I was, uh, I accelerated in all sports that I did, of course, professional beach volleyball and indoor volleyball came what I did. And so, you know, I was, I was always, uh, enamored with bodybuilding and, and, you know, like flex magazine and muscle and fitness as I was growing up. Uh, so I knew that after I retired from volleyball, I would do something in the fitness industry, but obviously, you know, you retire from volleyball, you've got a family, you've got, you know, I've had kids and, um, you know, I had to started the, the, the corporate life, right? You got you're nine to five, you're sitting at a computer and that's basically what my thirties were, you know, just, just that grind. Right. I still did dabbled in some personal training here and there, but it wasn't until, um, later on in my thirties when YouTube started, I think my first YouTube video was like 20, 2007 or something 2007 but i you know I, I i saw an opportunity and a platform to be able to reach more than just you know one on one personal training which i hated and you know boot camps which were were pretty good because i'd have you know 100 200 or 100 to like you know 80 to 100 people at a boot camp because i was one of the first people to do these boot camps here in toronto uh, but again just having to lug all that all that equipment and then putting it back in the car and then have to go home and then sleep and then get up at nine to you know seven to go to a nine to five or that was too much but then when when youtube came up i saw that opportunity and i just started to post videos on youtube you know i didn't know what you know no one really knew what they were doing just yeah here's a couple of shoulder exercises you know very basic literally i had i had videos some of my earliest videos i'm in my basement i'm a dark-skinned man so i'm in my basement no lighting, barely see me. I'm doing this poly long workout. And, uh, you know, it's just so funny when I look back, but that was my passion. You know, I found my passion, which was, you know, health and fitness. And so, you know, dating back probably, you know, in my late thirties, I started to post, but then also in my late thirties, things were starting to happen to my body that I wasn't really, 
you know, used to, like I, I, I was going to the gym six days a week. I was working hard at the gym, but my body wasn't changing. I was big and puffy. I was like, I'm, I'm right now about 187 pounds, 5'11". Then I was 215, 217 pounds and I was very puffy. And so I started to, you know, I had a really big belly and I didn't know what was going on. I started to, to, you know, my, my workout partner looked at me and he's like, you know, doesn't it piss you off that you're like the hardest worker in this gym? Like you come here six days a week, you work hard and you still look the same. And that really like, you know, I got pretty defensive and I went home that night and I took off my shirt because I, I really never looked in the mirror, right? Like I was always living in the past. Like, oh, I used to be a professional volleyball player, you know, like that, that persona you hang on to. You know, and that it's like it's like Al Bundy uh, when he used to always talk about being a quarterback at poke high. You know what I mean, even though he's sitting on the couch, it's the same thing. God, we do that. We we live. We you know we highlight things that we used to do and, and not really live in the in in the now. When you know it's it's you know taking off the shirt, seeing exactly what was going on, big belly, big and puffy, not liking what I saw. And so what do you do? You go to the gym harder. What do you do? You go on low carb diets. You go on, on uh, all kinds of different, a low carb, no fat. Uh, I was going on everything, intermittent fasting, but it, it was crazy trying to figure out what, uh, what, what would work and still nothing would work. And then I started to get, get injuries. So at that point, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of going along and then I think the 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 you know the, the the last part of what sent me down in a spiral was the girl that I was seeing at the time. She left me because I had no sex drive. She, she literally told me, "I'm leaving you because we're not having sex." Because I didn't have any, I didn't have a sex drive. I didn't have sex drive. I didn't have anything. I just wasn't. I was just there. I felt like I was just there, even though I was posting on YouTube. Internally, I wasn't who I wanted to be. And as soon as she left, that sent me down a spiral. I started going out to strip joints and, 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 and partying and doing drugs. And it really sent me down into a very, very, very deep hole. And I was masking my manhood by going to strip joints, by, you know, partying all night, by trying to, you know, oh, yeah, look at me, I'm here. Meanwhile, in, internally, I wasn't, I was feeling horrible. I was depressed. I had no drive. I had nothing. I was just, I, I didn't know what was going on. Then I started to get injured. So now I'm getting injured because I'm working out so much and I'm partying so much and I'm sitting in my, you know, my, my, my basement and just hating myself. And so when I went to the doctor, my doctor told me, you know, we took blood tests and then I went back to get the results and like, Hey dude, your, your testosterone levels are like 190. And I'm like, what? Well, first of all, I didn't really, I thought because I was big, I must have tons of testosterone. Hey man. I, I party with strippers. I must have testosterone. You know, I'm big, I'm the loud guy in the in the bar. I party with this, you know, I'm I must have. And he's like, no, your testosterone levels are the levels of like an 80-year-old man. And uh then he ex explained to me what testosterone actually does for our bodies and how it relates to everything. My depression, my sex drive, my my not being able to lose weight, the belly fat, the no muscle, not getting injured, the feeling of 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 the of being depressed you know, and, and everything and not having the drive, the energy levels, all of that stuff was due to my testosterone levels being so low. And so of course he wanted to put me on testosterone replacement therapy, but I was like, no, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm going to look and find out how I can naturally increase testosterone. But the cool thing about it was I saw hope because I'm like, okay, there's hope. There's a reason why I feel like this. There's a reason why all of this is happening. So I, I literally like, I just like hit the pavement, did a lot of research, talked to some hormone specialists. And I'm telling you, this is when I was 40. This is when I was 40. So I'm 50, 13 years ago. And I literally in six months transformed my body, completely transformed my body to 185 pounds ripped because I changed the foods I ate. I changed my workouts. I, you know, I, I focused a little bit more on recovery and I felt so good. I felt so vibrant. But here's the thing here. Now I feel like I'm 20. So now I'm I'm doing 20 year old things like I go I I started to train Muay Thai and I fought professionally in Thailand, you know, and and I got married in my 40s and you know I started my business in my 40s. I left my six-figure job and said, you know what, I want to do fitness. 
and you know my president literally my i walked in my president president's i remember this vividly and i said you know what i'm gonna leave uh you know you guys have been great he's like yeah i, I, I was waiting for this this moment because everyone in my and the place i was working was on my newsletter my fitness newsletter so they're always asking me hey funk how do i do this or how do i build muscle how do i lose weight so it wasn't, I wasn't hiding that I was doing a lot of stuff on the back. Like, you know, when I came home from work and, you know, loved what I was doing, I had the passion to write blog posts and post videos. And that was what I loved. But I knew that if I wanted to, if I needed to do that and make money from it, I'd have to leave this and, and jump right in. And I didn't even tell my wife at the time. Well, I didn't tell my wife that I, that I quit. So I literally went, came home and said, uh, I don't, I quit my job. So <laughs> she's like, what, what did you do? So he's like, you better get your ass upstairs because uh, you, you're going to start working. So um, what year was this? Where this, was, this? Yeah, this is 2015, probably 2015, yeah. like seven years ago, seven, yeah, seven or eight years. The, the timing's kind of, you know, it, it's all, it's a little bit blurry the longer I've done this by, alone, but yeah, it was about 2015, 2014. And uh, yeah, not just, I just really, really set, set my, uh, uh, my sights on launching workout programs and that sort of thing. But then about four years ago, I almost died because I had something called crypto organizing pneumonia, which is a, a very rare lung disorder. Um, and it just, you know, just a long story short, the doctor literally said to me at, at one point, you better come back to the hospital and stay here because we don't know what you have. And if you're going to die, you might as well die here because we, you have people here. And, uh, you know, that was a, that was a huge moment for me because I was in good shape up to, up to the point where I started to develop this. Anyways, they found out what it was, crypto organizing pneumonia. And part of the recovery was going on prednisone, which is a horrible, uh, catabolic steroid that kills your testosterone, kills your muscles, makes your head freaking 10 times the size as it's supposed to be. It, it's a very, and, and messes up with your hormones. And so at that time, uh, during this recovery, I said, okay, I'm going to go back and really, truly put this program that I developed before to the test to see if I can keep my T levels high, to keep everything high. And if I do, and if this works, we're going, we're going to launch this. And and it did like uh, six months later, I was off the prednisone three months from that. I tripled my testosterone levels, which had dropped. And from there, I started my over 40 alpha brotherhood because that's because I know what these guys are going through. I went through it. You lived not it. Only, well, I went through it. Exactly. I lived yeah. it not only once, but then I did it again. And I knew that this, this, this program that I developed will work. And uh, lo and behold, that's, that's where we're at right now. 14,000 men in this program. They, they, uh, they're changing their lives. They're changing their health. And uh, that's, that's, that's the origin story. <laughs> that is so cool. That is such an awesome story. Um, Let's let's talk about like the tribe, the avatar, the ideal customer profile. This this over forty man that's in a similar spot that you were, um, and you mentioned like testosterone is kind of a a mechanism of where a lot of the problem lies. What is what is the pain like? Where is the pain coming from? Whether they're working out and not getting results, or they're not working out and then things are just downward spiral in terms of belly fat, fatty liver, whatever. Um, how, how, like, what did you discover to fix testosterone naturally? And I know you have a ton in the program, but what are some insights to, to get the men out there excited? Yeah. You know, you're, you hit, I get goosebumps every time when I, when I hear this, because when I first launched this, I launched it as, okay, we're going to increase your testosterone naturally. And that was what I, that was my hook. Right. And so my avatar is men over 40, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, who struggle with belly fat loss, who struggle with no energy, who struggle with maybe not being able to, you know, the, 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 the low sex drive, who struggle with not knowing what workouts to do and what to eat because they're tried everything that they used to do. But I was leading with testosterone. And, and what I realized is the connection between testosterone and everything else I just told you. There is no connection there for most men. There still isn't because there's no information out there about how testosterone affects men our age, right? Because it's all about testosterone, testosterone, bodybuilders, testosterone, testosterone, testosterone replacement therapy. 
that's what that that's what all you hear. You don't hear, oh, well, this is testosterone helps with all of these things, you know, fat loss, strength, muscle, et cetera, et cetera, all the things I talked about. So it was a little bit difficult because not everyone understood the testosterone thing. So I had to go back and do a survey and ask, what is your number number one struggle? And so we have this massive sheet. I had about, you know, 10,000 men uh, respond. Lo and behold, belly fat, no energy, not knowing what workouts to do, <laughs> what to eat, you know, kind of like the, the basic things. And so I'm like, okay, perfect. That's what we're going to lead with. We're going to help you lose belly fat. We're going to help you lose weight. We're going to help you with uh, your, your pre-diabetes, those things that are prevalent, that guys actually know that they have. The symptoms. And are, the symptoms. And so yeah. once we, once, but as soon as they come in the program, they, it's all testosterone. Like I tell them that this is, this is why you're getting these symptoms. And here is the solution. We're going to work on a, a pillar, like a full holistic solution. That's not difficult because I, you know, there's a lot of information, but there isn't, it, it is very, um, just follow the program. I make it very simple because again, we're older guys. We don't have time. A, we don't have the time. B, we don't have the margin for error. We can't just do eat whatever we want and expect to recover. We can't just work out five days a week and expect to recover because we're not the same as we are. And, you know, the, 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 the science and, and, you know, as we get older, we not only suffer from low testosterone because here's the thing, testosterone levels naturally decrease one to 2% every year after the age of 30. So no one knows that. All or not a lot. Well, no one really knows. These guys never, none of these guys knew before they came into the program. Also, we suffer from sarcopenia, which is a natural loss of muscle due to aging. So I have I have men who are skinny but have a belly, who are skinny and try everything and just, you know, they just they still have the the you know the the they may have a little bit of man boobs, they may just have no energy, they can't understand it. So it's not like I need to lose. 200 pounds or 100 pounds because i'm already skinny but i can't put on muscle i still have this belly i don't have energy it's yes it's your t levels are high or, or sorry your testosterone levels are low your estrogen levels are high because belly fat and estrogen are are correlated you know and then it, and then it's all about balancing hormones so it's not just the testosterone it's balancing hormones so that's basically it's the symptoms that i learned that we have to lead with and once we lead with those symptoms once they come in, it's the education. That's that's the key because I'm very, very big on educating these guys so they understand why am I, wait a minute, why am I not eating uh, soy? Oh, that's right, because it increases my cortisol or, or my estrogen. Oh, why am I eating, you know, sweet potato? Oh, because sweet potato is great for my thyroid, which will kickstart my metabolism. It's got boron, which is great for my testosterone and it's a healthy complex carb. They know this stuff, they learn it so that, they have the power with food. They have the power with workouts. They have the power with their recovery. They have the power to make the decision, the right decision. That's awesome. I could talk to you forever about over 40 <laughs> fitness because I'm in your target market, but yeah. I want to kind of talk about Funk the Entrepreneur. Yes. Um, tell us about YouTube. Like yeah. your YouTube success, you have a lot of videos. I'm sure it drives leads into your, your products and programs and stuff what are some kind of counterintuitive or non-obvious things that you've learned kind of developing YouTube as an entrepreneur? Yeah, that's great. Great. So yeah. So for YouTube, for me, YouTube, it just became something because I am comfortable in front of a camera. I learned to be comfortable in front of a camera. I learned to be comfortable speaking. So, and YouTube was the only thing at that point. There was no Facebook actually. I don't think that I, I'm pretty sure there was no Facebook when I started YouTube or it was very, it was in its infancy. It might've been just in the universities or something, but it definitely wasn't some, it was more my space at that time. And so it, I just latched onto YouTube because I figured I can get a message out. I can get workouts done because my goal at first, because when I first came into this, uh, into my, my, my uh, business, I was, a, I'm a strength and conditioning coach for fighters because I used to fight. So again, I, I used to fight. I, fought so i and i used to develop strength and conditioning workouts for fighters because i i realized that fighters were still doing the buys and tries the back and shoulders the old type of workout so i decided okay i'm gonna make this uh, site called funk mma 
and it's going to be all videos and it's just going to be workouts. So if you're a, 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 a martial artist or, a, you know, jujitsu, Muay Thai, MMA, whatever, you know that you could go to Funk MMA, see a workout and you know that that workout's going to help you with your conditioning. That was my goal. So I was just about content and YouTube was obviously the best way to do that. But as we, as things started to progress, YouTube's algorithms change. And so you've got to start changing with those algorithms and start changing, you know, as more people re were on YouTube and searching, now you got to make sure the thumbnails are right. Now you got to make sure your tags are, are right so that people can see your videos. When I was posting at the very beginning, I, I mean, everyone has seen the video. <laughs> there's not a lot of people at that time, but now there's so much. So I learned throughout that, okay, what is, A, I just want to be my, me. So I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to be someone who I'm not. Cause I, I started that way. I'm like, okay, I'm funk robbers. I have to be this, like the superhero the brand, type, right. I yeah. have to be the super. But then I realized not, nah, 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 man, that's too much work for me. I'm not, I'm not, I just want to be me. And, and if you like me, you like me, if you don't, you don't, but you're just, this is who I'm, I am. And you're going to see it through my videos and, and, and that sort of thing. So that was eat that made things very, very easy because I don't have to worry about stuff. But as as we kept going, I also wanted to, okay, so how can I, uh, how can I uh, set myself apart from some of the other guys? You know, there's there's Athlean X and Jeff Cavalier, and he the way he does his things are different, right? He, he these are the five exercises you should do, and he does that sort of thing. And then there's other people out there. So I said, okay, for me, again, it's the workouts, but now I have to evolve my workouts. It used to be just I'm shooting a demo, and then. And that's it. Then it used to be, I'm shooting a demo and I'm going to talk over it. And then, it, then it, once, once COVID hit, it was, I'm doing follow along workouts. And not only am I going to do follow along workouts, but I'm going to coach through it and I'm going to go through the, the, the entire workout with them so they can see me struggle and they can see me. And I, that was a, that was a, that was a, and no one on, no one on YouTube was doing that before COVID. Nobody was. So it was a very big thing for because I'm like, okay, well, listen, I'm going to be struggling and I'm, they're going to see me struggle. They're going to see me have to put the weight down, but that's reality. And that's how my, my, in my program is all of my workouts in the over 40 alpha program are all follow along workouts. So I just thought, okay, I'm just going to do this. And again, people who want, who like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. Well, during COVID, my YouTube channel blew up uh, uh, because I was putting follow along workouts, all body weight workouts. So people who obviously without a gym. Yeah, without a gym, which was everybody in the world, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole world. So, and people loved it. People were just, oh my God, this is the first time, first guy I can see that that um, is actually coaching. Cause that's a big thing for me, coaching through the exercises uh, because that's how I do them anyway. And then, oh, and he's also struggling. So it's really real. And I, and I just, so now, so then I thought, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Follow along workouts, follow along workouts. But then I started to see more people doing follow along workouts. So they started, so they started doing the follow along, but they don't coach because it is very difficult to do a, a full 20, 30, 40 minute workout coach and do the workout. It's difficult. Some people started and tried and they, they realized very quickly. It's like, okay, you know, what we're gonna do, we're just going to put the music in the back and we're just going to work out, which is what you see more now, like the big, the big ones out there. That's what they do. They just put the music behind and they, and they and they do which is great i mean that's that's a niche that people like and then there's others who are starting to come out and just okay i'm just going to do the workout with you and i think people love that more because you get to you get to experience who i am and you know there there's a connection that was a, that's a big thing for me is connection i want to connect with my audience i can't connect with my audience if i'm just putting music and i'm just doing an exercise there's no connection here there is they hear me farting they hear me burping they hear me <laughs> swearing they hear everything because it's real we all do it in the gym. So why would I I'm not, I'm not going to do anything else, but then we had to, then we had to go, okay, listen, we're, we're doing these workouts, but now we got to take it up a notch guys. Like we got, we got to keep evolving. We can't just do the same thing. Like, you know, we change cameras. We had two cameras. Now we, now what I want to do to keep engagement, because, you know, you also have to think about what YouTube likes. Well, thumbnails, they want watch time. So short videos ain't going to work. They want watch time. They want people, they want to sell ads. So 20 minutes plus that's your, that's your video. So think about that. Think about your thumbnails. Think about the tags and think about one single message because my, my single message is metabolic workouts. If you do metabolic workouts, you're going to burn fat, build muscle. I do. What does that mean? Metabolic workout. 
Sure. So metabolic workouts are like what pe most people think of hit. So yeah. you do one exercise for 30 seconds, you rest for 30 seconds, move on to the next exercise for 30 and rest for 30. And what metabolic workouts do is not only are you, they're short, but be, because of the intensity is so high, you're going to burn calories during, but then you're going to continue to burn calories up to 24 hours after because your body's still trying to get back to homeostasis, which is where you started. When you're doing like long 45 minute cardio sessions, you're, you're going at a medium pace for 45 minutes and then 30 minutes or an hour later, your body gets back to homeostasis because you did not increase the intensity. Plus anything higher, any workouts that are higher or more than about 30 minutes, you start to increase cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone, which we do need specifically during our workouts, but too much cortisol is exactly what kills your, your muscle growth. Uh, it kills your testosterone and your hormones, and it also causes belly fats. That's why you see a lot of people at the gym who do the elliptical, and yeah, they'll lose weight for the first month, but then six months later, they still have the belly. They still have because, and they don't have a lot of muscle because it's that, that long cardio session that's not maximizing their calorie burn. And so when you do, again, the, the shorter workouts, you're you're releasing testosterone and you're releasing growth hormones. You're not hitting that cortisol. And because the workouts are so intense, depending on what level you're at, you're going to continue to burn. So a lot of times guys will, 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 they'll comment and go, man, I'm why funk. Why two hours later, do I still sweat? Like, I think I have a sweating problem. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's because your body's still, still, still burning. Like your metabolism is still going. It's trying to get back. It's a good thing actually that you're doing that because you're still burning. So that's metabolic training in a nutshell. So I keep, I stay, I stay the same thing, whether it's a, for a 60 year old person, obviously it's going to be the exercise is going to be a little bit more joint friendly or whether it's a fighter, but more, more importantly, now it's more uh, for men over 40. So now we add we add pop-ups during the exercises now because again I want to keep that engagement. Most what people, do the pop-ups do? So they're just like if I'm doing a, if I'm doing a, uh, a a lunge and I say okay guys keep that knee pointed out, bing, knee pointed out points to the knee. Why okay. as I'm doing it right because I want to keep people engaged. I want to keep people watching. And most people who watch my follow-alongs they just watch it first before they do it. Like no one really just clicks on okay I'm going to do this workout. Some do. A very few, but most people want to see it first to see, okay, let me see this workout. Oh, cool. But I want to keep them engaged. I want to educate them. I want to give them as much as I can in regards to the right technique. Cause I'm not there to, you know, to, okay, point your knees out or, you know, keep your shoulders back, you know, shoulders back. And then my, my, my editors will, you know, point shoulders back. Like, so it's really, it's, it's another, I'm trying to keep leveling up so that I can keep the engagement because that's what YouTube likes, but also I can use it to educate as well and keep people entertained. It's edutainment, right? Education, entertainment, yeah. and, and results driven. They can actually do it and, and, and get something done. One last tip, just one last tip about YouTube. If anyone is going to start using YouTube. So the other thing is I only, I focus on YouTube. I don't focus on YouTube and Instagram. And like, I only have 40,000 followers on Instagram. I barely post on Instagram because you can't do it all. You have to yeah. be one person. Yes, there's a couple of people who got billions on each one, but that's because they got millions of people on both platforms. I only have, I only focus on YouTube. And yes, I will post on, on Instagram and maybe some on Facebook, but it's not my number one. I focus on YouTube. That's where I can connect with people. And that's where my, my voice is. So if you're doing YouTube, just focus on YouTube, focus on your messaging, and focus on longer videos to keep people engaged. Don't have to be Showtime videos, man. Like I said, some of my great greatest videos, the, my burpee video is done outside in a park. Um, my wife, you know, the, I, we still can't believe that that video is still, <laughs> I can't still believe it though. But then when we watched it, we watched the other day, I'm like, hey man, that's a good video. Like that was really good. Like, okay, I real, I don't even have to reshoot that. I know it's in the park and grasses up to my, uh, up to my, uh, you know, my waist, but it's a good video. <laughs> That's awesome. I was listening to your podcast this morning, the over, over 40 alpha podcast. Yes. And I heard, um, you were promoting or somebody was becoming a captain and, oh, yeah. and I, it, it, uh, basically a part of what you do is what I call an education entrepreneur. One of the skill sets is building community. Oh, yes. And I was wondering if you could 
kind of touch on that community piece, particularly uh, if you're serving a market, maybe people have challenges and they don't, they don't necessarily, they want to go, go talk about their belly fat or their low sex drive or whatever it is. So it's like a challenging community, but somehow you're able to also build community. How do you, how do you connect these people to each other to help motivate and, uh, you know, drive your business forward? Yeah, this is the number one thing that it keeps my, that is my business. This is the number one thing is the, our tribe. We call yeah. it a tribe element. We teach this. Um, when you create a community, a tribe, a positive cult, okay, not a negative <laughs> cult, yeah. talk like CrossFit is a, is a positive cult. They have their own words and wads and they have their own lingo. And, yeah. you know, like they know, and it's a massive close community. And they created a tribe. So when we created over 40 alpha, that was the number one thing was, okay, I got to, I want to create a tribe. I want to create, first of all, a community of men who can, who can be vulnerable with each other. Massive, massive test. Men yeah. are not vulnerable. Men don't talk about things um, at all, except just shop talk with their buddies. So having men, A, from all over the world, all different colors, all different religions, all different languages, calling each other brother, telling each other they love each other. You know, um, that's what happens inside our brotherhood. So, but there, there has to be a, a, like, there's a formula. So first and foremost, you know, when I, when we created it, it, it was an identity. Wait, what's the identity? It's over 40 alpha. That's our identity. So everyone's an over 40 alpha, you know, when you come in and how do you really become the, the over 40 alpha where there's a journey. So when I set up my membership site, most membership sites, no matter if they're fitness or anything else, usually you, you join and then there's a whole bunch of things that you can access like resources, right? That's kind of like the Netflix, but for someone who doesn't know what they're doing and they're coming to you for information and then you just put them in this this place library they still, they still don't know what to do but okay where do i go what yeah. do i do i still don't know i need hand holding and i understand that with men or with anybody you know the good thing about men is when you give them something they'll do it like i've tried women on the women's side and it's a whole different ball game no disrespect to women love you guys but it's just a different way of dealing with women men are just do this this is why it'll work. Okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> like it's insane. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. You get a bit of pushback at the beginning, like, believe me, it works. Just keep doing it. So we had to have this journey. So you start, everyone starts in the same place. That's the other thing. Everybody starts in phase one. And so because they start in phase one, they go to phase two, phase three phases are 28 day programs. They're just 28 days, right? So everyone starts. And then there's the first year is called one year to alpha. So you go through 12 phases, 12, like, so it's every, every phase is different. Workouts are different and they become an OG at the end. So they get okay. this OG status. Now I'm an OG, right? So during that journey though, how do you keep them interested? How do you keep them, you know, really focused on this journey? Well, we have milestones every three months you hit a milestone and that gets you a t-shirt, right? Oh, nice. So, so now what are we doing? We are creating uniformity, right? What, what is, what do communities have the same uniform? They, they yeah. look the same, they dress the same, right? So that's uniformity. Cause when you go through the, 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 the milestones, a you're going to get a t-shirt that says something that, that relates to exactly what you just did. You know, I got it done, you know, face, face uh, after phase six, it's uh it's uh, I cannot stop. I will not be stopped because you've gone six months. There's no turning back, you know? Phase nine is stronger today, better, to, like better tomorrow or something like that. And then at the end, it's kind of like all of our pillars and then they get their name on the back. So now they're an OG a fish. Now they're also become moderators because they lived. Not many people can do a program for 12 months. Right? It's serious like, business. That's a commitment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a commitment. And so at the end, they become moderators because they can teach a lot of the new people coming in They're, You know, you see that moderator badge. Oh, okay. That person's been here. They've done this. And because everyone's done phase one, most of the times people will come in and they'll start and they'll go, Oh man, that phase one workout was so hard. And everybody will say, I know what you went through. I remember that workout instead of going, suck it up, you know, like get it done. It's like, Oh dude. Yeah. We remember that workout. That was tough. Don't worry. It gets easier. It gets easier. So now they're just kind of like uplifting the guys who are coming in. And then um, 
And so then we have another 12 phases, which is another 12 phases of workouts. And then we have another 12. So there's three years of programming in this program, in this, in my, in my brotherhood. Um, and again, every, every month you're going through. So now we've got the uniformity, we've got the, um, the, the levels, and now we have our, our sign. So this, this is the brother, like everyone, if you look at the pictures, everyone posts the, post their picture and they have this sign right here and in, inside the brotherhood, they all have this. So that's part of our, you know, if I'm walking down the street and I see someone, Hey, that looks like somebody. And I do this to them. <laughs> they do this back. You know, they're part of the brotherhood. That's what we want. That's literally what we want. So the other, so that's, that's, that. and then now we're doing this because at the end of my workouts, I always ask for, a, uh, you know, hook me up with a, a bump at the end of the yeah. workouts dying. So now I'm seeing people do that all the time. <laughs> So <laughs> next up, so now we've got our signs, right? We have rituals. You have to have rituals, something that everyone does. So uh, Sunday is our accountability ritual. People will write in their accountability. Uh, we have rituals like posting your meals. So they'll post their meals. Guys will come in or I will all, all come in and say, oh yeah, that's good. Or you need a little bit more carbs or this and that because our nutrition is very simple. They're just, they put, it's just a, you know, a balanced plate carbs, fats, proteins, vegetables, and fruits, fruits, et cetera. And they, and they post it and people can, can help them. Um, they're sweaty selfies, right? That's a, that's a ritual. Post your sweaty selfie. Um, every Sunday, 10 AM doesn't fail. I have a coaching call, a live coaching call, which is what you probably listen to one of the, one of the live coaching calls. Um, because I want to coach these guys. It's not just about, because my goal is actually not the fitness part of it. It's creating recreating our men because we're losing our men we're losing our manhood they're suppressing our manhood so i need to develop alphas men who can lead their you know procreate provide protect their families the people around them but not douches got not douchebags alpha men guys who let maybe left their kids when they were younger or you know like went off you know not having paid child support go back and get that stuff done you know and then teach your kids your daughters your your sons your grandchildren you know how to how to live how to live that life and and regain it you know testosterone is a good thing and and we need it to survive so i teach a lot of that sort of thing mindset stuff and 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 that that stuff and then we have captains because again there's lots of people in the brotherhood and there's guys who shine guys who are always posting some guys who are always doing their motivational stuff um some people who are just just they just that you know people can see so bruce taylor from australia was our first captain and i didn't we didn't even they just started calling him captain so <laughs> we said you're a captain and so now bruce is one of our captains he's one of our right. leaders and then leandrew um you know he was always supposed to motivational stuff so he's another captain and then rob is a, another captain and here's a here's a, a huge thing rob just created this internal challenge called the torture chamber he just said hey funk i'm just gonna create this challenge is that okay i'm like I, absolutely inside of our facebook group and now everyone's loving it it's like the oh my god i just did rob's torture chamber so now everyone is jumping on that because of that community the other thing is the vulnerability. And that's something I stress a lot. I always tell these guys, listen, iron sharpens iron. Okay, we are all here for the same thing. But what they realize is as soon as they start to transform their body, they realize it's it's not about them now. It's it's something bigger than them, right? It's something bigger. It's like, oh man, no, I need to, we need to help men. Like, you know, there's so many guys out there. They see it in their families, their friends who are struggling. They start to see you around them because they're now changed their lifestyle. They're no longer on prescription pills. They, you know, they're they're uh, they're no no longer pre-diabetic. They're they're commute their relationship with their with their wives, their kids. They're running around. Some guys are having kids. Guys are going back to school. Guys are getting their masters. Guys are are swimming the Alcatraz freaking swim like it's insane like what these guys do it's unbelievable um and so they realize oh this is bigger than me man like this is like there's a big movement happening here and so we don't talk politics we don't talk religion we don't post pop culture and when guys have problems they post it in there and guys will help them and guys will guide them and it's a place to be vulnerable they post their pictures they you know like the first first day guy posts the pictures 250 pounds he's he's, he's overweight but he knows that he's not, he's going to get support, right? Not 
you know, oh, come on, lose that weight. No, it's like, okay, great. We got you, man. We got you. You're not going to be the same guy that you were there, that you came in. You're not going to be that same person three months down the road, four months. A month down the road, you're not going to be the same person. And that's really what, what it's all about. But when you create that that environment, now I have to be in there like, oh, sorry. And on Fridays at 9 a.m., we have our hangouts where I just go on and for an hour we hang out. I talk whatever, man. Last week we talked about the best, the best, um, uh, the best uh, uh, super, not superhero, the best adventure uh, actor, like, uh, you know, like Tom Cruise or, okay. you know, Ryan Gosling, because we we're just talking about Ryan Gosling's new movie. It's like, oh no, he's I he I buy what he's selling. And so now we go back and forth. So it's again a, a way for us to kind of connect with each other. And remember, we have Muslims, we have Christians, we have atheists, we have everybody, and everyone loves each other. First, like guys are telling them, I love you, man. I love you, man. And they meet up with each other. We're I'm meeting Philip Schmidt today from France. He's coming in. He's coming in at 8 p.m. We're all going to meet him at his hotel. Last last time we met uh uh Ben Gervais from Ottawa with his family. Next week we're meeting Joe Z Man coming to Toronto. It's amazing. And then they meet each other. They wow. meet up with each other. It's incredible. I get goosebumps because I didn't expect it to be this powerful, but it's super powerful community. But it starts with that tribe. You got to have that tribe element. That's awesome, man. That's like a textbook masterclass on community yeah. building. I love it. I love it. Let's let's talk about tech for a little bit. Tell us about your WordPress story and what brought you to Lifter LMS. Yeah, so uh, so we used Wishlist as a membership just because I just started using WordPress from the beginning. So you kind of you know my developer has been with me since the beginning. So you know together we've kind of been building out what we want, uh, whether it was a blog or whether we're our programs. And so um, WordPress has been there, and then Wishlist uh happened to come out and it looked oh it's a great plugin it's got everything i need let's start building things on wish list and so as uh you know as we continue to do this we have an app now so every so you know our wordpress wish list is connected to our app so whatever's on our, our wordpress we can put it on the app so that's great through vid app which is awesome and then now because so again i'm always trying to evolve and i do even though i'm men over 40 actually what's starting to happen now is a lot of these guys are asking for, oh, Funk, you know what? I, I think I want to become a fit. Uh, I want to get into fitness. I think I want to help other men. Like now that's starting to come up. I'm like, oh God, guys. All right, here we go. So, and then also kettlebells is a big thing in our family. Like we, my wife and I use kettlebells a lot. Kettlebells were a big thing when I actually transformed my body. I'm certified, my wife's certified. And we realized that there's not a lot of people in the world who know how to use kettlebells, but they want to use kettlebells because it's such a it's such a powerful piece of equipment but you have to be taught that it's not like a dumbbell it's not like a, a barbell it's not like body weight like you you can't just pick it up and start using it you're gonna get injured so you have to learn but once you learn man it's it's incredible so we wanted to create a course we shot the course we shot the course we shot everything and then we're like, okay now we got to put it into a course uh, software so we looked at one that really didn't have the features then i found lifter lms and started to look through everything and I, I remember i spent like an hour and i'm just like oh man this is great like this has everything the plugins i'm like oh this is because i always think about two years down the road right i'm always thinking okay what will i need two years down the road that's why i bought the the multiple platforms because i could my, my developers like just buy one i'm like no 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 because we're going to put three or four or five different courses here so might as well get this now and uh you know the certifications and the exams because i want to this is even though this is this kettlebell which we're launching tomorrow by the way even though this is even though this is for beginners or people who've never used kettlebells before people who have never gone through a certification i know that trainers are going to want to do this and get their ce their their uh, continuing education credits so mm -hmm. i need an exam portion and i know that you guys have a plug in for that so perfect now i can offer the 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 ceus and get all those accreditations from all other things so the scalability of Lifter is great. The ease of implementation, I mean, I'm not doing the implementation, but the ease of, I mean, what I'm looking at right now is exactly what I wanted. Like, it couldn't be any better than what I what I envisioned it to be because I've done a lot of online courses. I've gone through many people's online courses, so I know already what I want. And, um, you know, you, you guys have everything. You guys have everything. And uh, I just found out that you also have a WooCommerce implementation and we have because i also have a woocommerce store and i want to sell some of these on woocommerce so 
another massive i was like yes woocommerce oh lifter what is happening here <laughs> oh we're going we're going but let's go baby let's go you guys are amazing you're amazing i love it nice well it's great to be with you on the journey um one more question that kind of inspired the other education entrepreneurs out out there how do you think about like your sales funnel or how do you get sales? Obviously you're, you're great at getting all this content out there and attracting your tribe, your vibe attracts your tribe kind of thing. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> But like, I noticed you have some, like a challenge that you do, like how do people kind of get into your world? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so very important. Um, so for me, I do not want to be the guy having to do ads all the time i've gone through yeah. that and i hated it so you're was, organic marketing guy like content marketing no no we do we have we have um we have so i have my youtube team so we use youtube and we have ads now i've created a couple of ads but i don't want i just said i didn't want to do the ads every day like the okay. little ads every day but we have uh, ads running on youtube that push people to used to push people to our our over the one dollar trial and that did well for a while, but things changed. So we had to change up and, and the team that I have said, no, you know what? We need a standalone product. So that's why the challenge is a standalone product, but it's a challenge. And we know from before when we used to run challenges, because that is a very great way to get people in your membership. In fact, that's a, excuse me, that's an incredible way to get people into your memberships, running challenges, because you run the challenge, you have that product and the challenge mimics exactly what's inside my membership. So from the daily emails to the type of workouts to the app, so that after they've done the challenge, obviously they want more. Okay, I'm done this challenge. I got results. What's next? Oh, you're going to come into our membership, the over 40 alpha. But the great thing is the people who buy the challenge are already in my Facebook group. So they already see all these alphas talking about phase 20 and phase eight and phase this excitement, excitement, excitement. A lot of the guys in the brotherhood have also already been through the challenge. So you have this challenge, you put everyone in the same bucket, right? And then after you migrate them into or trans, you know, you, you, you convert them into your membership, which looks exactly the same. Really, there's nothing different. They have to go through the same steps to do to unlock or, or not unlock, but to, to get to those phases. So we have YouTube ads that work very well. Um, and for, for us to scale those YouTube ads, we'd have to know our lifetime value. So we have software that, that figures out our LTVs, our, our uh, LTRs, which are lifetime revenue. Very, very important because now we know that our ads are getting, you know, $31 uh, CPAs, but we know that our day one lifetime is $38. So now we're saying, Hey, let's jack up because we, we we're covering it. Like we're not, we're, we're, we're still making money. So let's, let's say like, spend more, spend more, spend more. So now I have more YouTube. I don't have to worry about posting every day on Instagram and Facebook because that's what drives people in. I want to be inside my membership. That's what I want to do. I enjoy being more internal content for the, the membership. I don't want to spend all my time outside. So that's why we have that ad. And then we're going to be uh, connecting with somebody else who's going to uh, help us focus on Facebook and Instagram. Again, I told them, I don't want to be doing ads every day. So let's get one or two good solid ads that will go out and drive people into that funnel. So very important to, now that's just me. Like some people love doing the po they come you know they love doing that i just don't like doing that i'd rather be in i want to get results yeah. so that's the most important thing for me so a lot of times people focus on i got to drive people in but they leave their customers alone and that's where they lose their customers you can't leave your cust your customers are the most important people uh, in your business because and they refer their that, friends. I was listening to a podcast where you're, you're, it was like a brother saw the other brother had done, had been, yes, in and Rob, it just, Rob and Anthony. Yeah. It goes. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, as you can see, I have supplements, yeah. right? My supplements, I don't, I'm not a big supplement company, but these supplements I sell to my members. Why? Because my members trust me. They, they, they know that I'm there. They know I'm not there to, to sell them crap and my name's on those supplements. So that's a huge, that's a massive revenue driver for us. Like literally every day we're selling supplements, supplements, supplements. I have resistance bands. Why? Because men over 40 love resistance. bands. So I made my own resistance bands, created a couple of phases and programs, resistance bands related. And now I can sell those. So once you, if I did not have that, connection 
there's no way I could sell those, those. I mean, I could sell it, but I would just lose that. I would lose my integrity. I, I feel that that's just me. I, I want to have integrity and I want to know that um, when I create a supplement, because I create my supplement from scratch, it's going to be powerful. It's going to work and they're going to need it, right? They're going to, I'm, I'm creating supplements that you guys are going to need uh, during your journey. So being, having that membership, and getting them results and having a connection allows you to scale. You can do courses, you can do other products and, and not other people's products, your own products, right? I don't sell other people's products because once again, it just, it, it, there's a disconnect. It's like, well, why are you selling that product? I know it's, if, if I don't have, I don't have it. And yeah, I may like send them over, but most, most, most of the times I, I want to create my own my own brand, my own stuff, because I get 100% of that as opposed to 50 or 10% or 12% or whatever it is, depending on what it is. That's awesome. And and just the the bottom of the funnel, the sales conversion point for the membership, What what is it? Is it like primarily a sales page that does the heavy lifting? Like what, if you were advising another education entrepreneur, like what do you think makes your sales page convert or work well for you? I know you have a lot of before and after pictures, which for fitness yeah. makes a lot of sense, but what else? It's the copy. It's 100% yeah. the copy. I, that was actually on my list to talk to you about. I wrote down copywriting. Oh. Where did you learn how to write like that? Or do you hire it out? Or what do you do? James, <laughs> James Logalbo. He is my copywriter. <laughs> okay. actually, and here's, here's the thing. Because James and Joe Logalbo are my copywriters. Joe Logalbo is a direct, I, and I don't like to say competitors because we don't compete. Yeah. He has the anabolic live. So he also does men over 40, like massively does men over 40. So we both do men over 40, but he and his brother write my copy. They write my emails because Joe's, Joe and James are the best copywriters as far as I'm concerned. They, they're, they, they're, they, they hit it bang on. So we don't, I, again, like my mindset isn't, oh, well, he does the same thing as me. So I'm going to go against him. No, it's like, Hey, there's it's a, abundance a billion, mindset. Men, there's a right. billion men out there we, that yeah. we have to. So let's all do this together. Fit father does the same thing. And him and I have, have gone back, you know, like talked about, Oh, what are you doing? Uh, you know, here, Oh yeah. Okay. So what we're doing great sharing because we all have different personalities and we are going to, we're going to attract different types of men in their forties, fifties, sixties, seventies. So there's nothing really to worry about. There's a lot of men out there, so it's all out there, but the copywriting, I cannot tell you spend the money uh, because it makes a difference. The difference between our old 30 day challenge page that I tried to do. And I've been in this industry for many years. I have books on copywriting. I've, I've written sp- sales pages before but the when we had our old page and and we had the the ads going to it compared to as soon as we put james like as soon as james wrote, wrote the copy and then we put everything to that copy it's we get 20 30 new people every single day and that's just on a very low spend we're going to be increasing the spend but imagine 20 30 new sales every single day adds up to you know 300 or, or 900 sales a, a month and then those those guys, we we convert them into the membership, usually about 60%, 50% convert, because not everyone starts the 30 day challenge at the same time, right? They just buy it because they own it, right? But it's it is a, it is the copy. Like spend the money on the copy. Yes, it may cost you six grand, yes, it may cost you seven grand, but I guarantee you you will make that up in no time. Long and it's long paid sales pages. It's the yeah. story. There's a, listen, there is a formula and some, there's times where I, I will, I'll look at a long sales page. And I'm like, how the hell does <laughs> this freaking thing? Or I watch those, those sales videos, sales page videos, uh, VS, VSLs yeah. again, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But when I used to do affiliate stuff, every single time I would send to those pages, they would crush it's 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 the formula man i don't know what it is and i don't i don't care <laughs> it works so get a get a copywriter um and get someone who can create your sales page and those those testimonials are so important make sure you you highlight as many testimonials as you can whether they're pics whether they're fa- the facebook uh, ones are really good because people, it looks real. Like it's, Oh, that's someone just, or wherever you can grab those from, don't write them out and say, Jim said this actually post it because there's more of a connection when someone sees that it's like, okay, 
oh, okay, this is oh, this was a post done by whatever and whatever, or this is a post done by whatever, whatever. That's so important. Those are those are the, the elements, the testimonials and the sales copy from a sales writer. <laughs> Bunk, it's been awesome. Uh, you're such a shining example of an education entrepreneur driven by mission and vision and impact and really making a dent in the universe. So I uh, thank you for spending some time with me. Thank for the, you. For, for the people out there listening, what's the best ways to connect with you in all the different places? Sure. Um, so if you want, if you want workouts, follow along workouts, go to my YouTube channel, you know, start, just go there first, see who I am. You may like me, you may not, but you'll probably like me anyways. <laughs> I'm, I'm real. Uh, this is who I am. You can go to my Instagram, Funk Roberts Fitness on Instagram. And then if you are ready to transform your body for $1, go to over40alpha.com. It's a $1 trial, 30 days. You're going to lose 27 to 20 pounds and we'll be there through the entire journey with you. Um, so yes. And again, thank you so much. And I want to help create the lifter community. I want to be a, a lifter Lord, or I don't know what we'll call ourselves. <laughs> I want to be part of that community, man. There's a lot, there's a lot there. We can, we can really create that tribe, the lifter, unless you guys already have one. I'm just joining it now. <laughs> <laughs> You're in man. You're in. We, we have a pretty big Facebook group and stuff too, yeah. but it's uh it's great to be connected and it's great to be, um, on the journey together. And, uh, yes. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for shining your light. And uh, yeah, we'll see you along the path. Thank you guys. And take care, everybody. And that's a wrap for this episode of LMS Cast. Did you enjoy that episode? Tell your friends and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And I've got a gift for you over at lifterlms.com forward slash gift. Go to lifterlms.com forward slash gift. Keep learning. Keep taking action and I'll see you in the next episode.